All right, what's up everybody? Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the Eastern Box Turtle. We talked a little bit about them in the last video, but this is the um, subspecies uh, Terrapine Carolina Carolina. Now there are four species or subspecies of Eastern Box Turtle in uh, America. Um, a couple more, I believe, in uh, Mexico. Um, but this subspecies, or this specific subspecies, is what's called people call the Eastern Box Turtle are the common box turtle. They go all the way from Maine, all the way down to Georgia, parts of Florida, in the top where you start getting your intergrades with the Florida and uh, Gulf Coast. And I, I believe west all the way to Tennessee, um, up to Michigan. Um, anyway, these are protected in most states um, because of their growth rate and they don't normally produce a ton. You know, like a sea turtle will produce hundreds of eggs. Um, these guys will produce anywhere between two to six, sometimes eight if it's a huge female. Um, but these guys are probably the most sought after because they're beauty. Um, not to say that the others aren't beautiful. I think, like I said, we've already already know my opinion. The Gulf Coast are the coolest in my opinion because of their size. But these guys, the Eastern males, come in these ridiculous colors sometimes. They could be bright orange, bright yellow, bright red. Um, white, blue, all kinds of cool colors mixed in. Um, and then some can be just regular brown or black. But um, now, back to sexing these guys. And we talked about it in the last video. Males generally are flatter, bigger heads. Um, they have more of a flare in their shell at the, at the back end right here. Um, males generally have red eyes. Um, if that turkey keeps calling, we're going to have an early Thanksgiving. But uh, <laughs> males generally have red eyes. Um, and again, the concave on the bottom of the shell. Um, females generally have a narrow head, more of a rounded body, uh, oval like, um, not as flat. Um, females generally have brown eyes, and they normally have a flat part here. But again, like I said, that's not always the case. The easiest way to tell, or the most accurate way to tell, is the tail length. How far the cloaca, or butthole if you will, comes past the shell. Females have short tails and it doesn't go as far back, and males have a longer, thicker tail that come, the cloaca, or butthole, comes past the shell. Um, and the reason the concave is on the bottom there is so a male can climb up and it's a perfect little fit to the back end of that female, and then they get the groove on. Sometimes play a little disco music. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, um, this time of year too, um, we just had a bad storm come through here. Raining and um, um, a lot of wind, a lot of rain. When rain happens, box turtles come out by the droves. It's a breeding time for them. That's, that's kind of what stimulates the breeding. Um, and they love it. Um, and we'll do another video on um, outdoor pen setup and all. But I kind of wanted to show you the differences here in um, different box turtles. It's hard to find a box turtle that is similar to another one. They're all different. Now, you might find another orange male with the same similar patterning. Yes, but they're like, like I said before, they're like fingernail or fingerprints. Every, turtle, every box turtle has a different pattern on its shell. It's like their fingerprint. Um, and once you've had them a long time, you can... Um, you kind of get used to seeing their own patterns and what they are. But um, these guys have been here a while. They're um, active breeders, so they're not as shy as most are. Well, that turkey is going to town, ain't he? But uh, a couple other things um, I want to bring up that uh, a lot of people associate these guys with tortoises because they're more terrestrial than aquatic. Um, these are not tortoises. Um, tortoises have club feet. These guys have fingernails. They're classified as turtles. Um, they don't have the same diet as the tortoise. So don't just, a lot of people get these guys and think, like I get a lot of questions on some of the Facebook uh, posts about, oh, I tried to feed them beans and greens and all this stuff and they don't want to eat. And I fed them an earthworm and they eat it. Are they okay eating earthworms? Absolutely. I mean, they're far more carnivorous than people get them credit for. They try to feed them like a tortoise and feed them tomatoes and, um, greens all the time but um, these guys are far more carnivorous which is why if you're breeding them you want to collect the eggs because 
a baby comes out and they see it moving, they're going to associate that with food and they will eat a baby box turtle, a hatchling. Hatchlings also have very leathery shells and not hard yet, so they can tear, rip them apart with their claws, no problem. Um, it's a little windy out today, so I hope you can hear me. But uh, anyway, so um, in the dry season, these guys will bury up. Um, they like to bury down in the dirt. So if you do have an indoor enclosure, um, it, you want to have a good, uh, obviously I suggest an outdoor enclosure, but if you do have an indoor enclosure, you want something they can bury in, you know, four to five inches of, um, of um, substrate where they can bury down and get completely covered up because they like that. And they also, these are not as aquatic as um, Gulf Coast box turtles, but they do like water and you should have at least something they can submerge completely in where they can poke their head up. Um, you, you don't want to just put a tiny water dish in. Well, they, they can survive off of that, but you want something they can go have fun in. Um, so um, anyway, in closing, like I said, um, these guys are cool. If you're thinking about getting one, um, know your state laws because they're constantly changing and they're trying to take all the rights away with animals. But, um, you know, like I said, look at your state laws. If you can have them, then get one. If you can't get one an Eastern in your state, odds are you might be able to get a different of the subspecies, maybe a Gulf Coast or a Florida, um, a three-toed, or maybe a, one of the Western subspecies, the uh, Terrapin ornata. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, that's my video today, and uh, we'll do a video in the future on other subspecies and uh, enclosure um, setups. How do you do an outdoor enclosure? Um, there's a hundred ways to skin a cat, and you can make an enclosure several different ways. But, um, yeah, so I want to talk about that today. Hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe, and uh, comment below and tell me um, what's your favorite um, box turtle species, or turtle species in general. Thank you.